Hey you guys, today we are doing a handbag video. Ones that I think are totally overrated. So you're gonna get a lot of opinions in this one, okay? I'm gonna show you the ones I have that, oh I forgot to put on my rings, that I feel like are, um, that I feel like are overrated, okay? And then also my five that I feel are the best. And I think it's gonna really surprise you. So like a five faves, five not so faves. But I just think that during the video, you'll hear a lot of good advice and a lot of good, um, maybe not even advice, but just like opinions on what I really think of some of these things, like the Birkin, Chanel flat bags, Louis Vuitton, like certain things I think you might even be very surprised. But I think that even over the years, my opinions on a lot of those things have changed too. So something that I'm going to do quickly, which is why I don't have any jewelry, is <laughs> because I was waiting. I was going to do, I just got done with my makeup. I was going to share about that too. I was going to do my hair with you guys because I don't get it. Like, I, I know, again, it's simple for me. And to me, it's just like, duh, it's so easy. But I get questions like, can you show me how to do your sleek bun tutorial? Can you, I'm not in my mind thinking this is a sleek bun, like, worthy of a tutorial. But I'll show you how I do it because that's how I wear my hair a lot of days. And my hair's gotten healthy. It's gotten longer. It's still wet. That's why it might look a little stringier but I sometimes I'll just go ahead and put it up if you use the right thing because you got to be really careful with wet hair you know putting it in ponytails and what you do so that matters so when I get out of the shower I can't even think of the last time that I used a blow dryer last several years really needed to get my hair back in good shape growing it out you know it's 100% like my natural color up here this is still some of the old blonde hanging on right so I cannot wait till it's all you know by then I'll probably be gray you know so we're just gonna keep hanging on to it as long as I can right honestly but with my hair being longer I feel like it's so much less maintenance because you can just flip it around you can do whatever whether if it was like rather if it was a short style I'd really have to do something with it do you know what I mean so I don't know I think long hair sometimes can be easier in that way if it's a good texture you know it's easy to take to care for okay whatever so I just let it air dry and I put a little bit of a styling cream in it just on the ends and then I kind of push it to one side like this that way I get more volume honestly more than I would get if I blow dry my hair I feel like sometimes it just like I don't know so I kind of like to do that which then I put it in like a sleek thing anyway so who cares but I let it dry and even I'll go places and I'll be like a little damp on the way or whatever or I'll just if I really have to get ready I'll go ahead and do my bun and I have not which I don't even think it's a bun I don't even know I don't even have a brush so I'm just going to show you how simple this is depending on your hair texture you may need a comb to do your part and I don't go like all the way back I just do it kind of halfway tuck it behind your ears and then I'm using kind of a brush and that's great um we're doing this without a brush because I'm not stopping this I'm going to get one so sorry um okay so you smooth the sides behind your ears and then go behind your ears and just grab it like right at the nap of your neck is that what that's called like right at the that and then and again I'm not brushing it so whatever the back is not super perfect all the that's why I don't like to go all the way back and down because I kind of like it to look a little not pump not like a bump but just not so like flat to my head but sometimes I do that too and then kind of like if you that part ugh. I'm making this much more dumb and difficult than it has to be okay you just do this you take your hair thing and then when it you know when it gets to be like the last one you just do like a little Pull it out maybe like just a couple inches. And you want to keep it tight because you're going to want to pull it. Take it like you're going to tighten the ponytail. Pull it. And it's sideways. I don't do it where it's like done under. I do it where it's sideways. I just think that looks better. And then take your leftover hair, depending on how long your hair it is, is and then wrap it around. And then take the end. And tuck it in to your hair thing. Did that even cover the thing? Probably not. But sometimes that's kind of cute. And it's not even that I'm trying to cover the thing. I'm just trying to get that little tail out of there. And then you can kind of like, you know, pump, fluff it up a little. It is wet, so it's not, or damp, so it's not like as good as it usually is. But it's just simple. Like, I'm a ponytail kind of person. Not saying this is perfect, but I did have somewhat, see, and there's like bumps. Whatever, who cares, okay? Um... Of course, like you could get it really perfect with a brush. And then I throw on some hoops. 
and I'm good to go, y'all. And I like it. It's just an easy hairdo. You don't have to fool with it. Listen, let's get into the video. Again, thank you guys so much if you're podcast listeners. I'm not going to get into that, but oh my gosh, this week's episode and last week was so much fun. And um, just so many new people over there since even last week. And we love y'all. So thank you. Okay, bags that I like. Now, I haven't taken down anything, so you're going to see me like traveling around in here a lot because I truly wanted to do this video for weeks I've had this thought, but I haven't made a plan, okay? So I don't have things sitting out. The only bag that I brought in was the one that I've been carrying. I'm not going to go through all my bags, okay? So if you're like, Tiffany, what about this? What about that? You said you like this or that. There's a reason. There's things like my Bottega Veneta bag that's the, my vintage one that was my great aunt's that is probably the most meaningful bag, but it's not going to really fall into one of these categories because it's so specific. You know what I mean? There are certain things, but I think you'll get it as we go. Let's talk about first the, okay. Maybe I should have taken things down because this may not be a good idea. Okay. Let me talk first. You guys are going to say, what about the Birkin? What about the Birkin? Everybody and their mother, like not everybody in the mother, but I'm just saying your mindset is, Oh, the Birkin has to be the best of the best. But this is a bag that I've always thought, oh, you know, you know it's a nice bag, but it they never appealed to me. I have a video all about this. Um, it's this bag. It's this size. This is, gosh, I always get the sizes wrong. I believe it's the 30. The size that is one size bigger than this, to me, is a totally different bag. It looks like you're carrying luggage to the supermarket. I don't like that look. Personally, that's me. And I'm not saying if you have one, it doesn't look good. I love what anyone wants to do, but I'm saying me personally, I would not feel comfortable carrying that, and I just don't love the vibe of that, um, but this one is, is just great. I'm not going to be that person that has like, you know, I'm, oh, I'm going to collect a ton of Birkins because it's not like a bag that I'm like, oh, I love the Birkin. You know what I'm saying? I love this one, and I have no thoughts of getting another because there's no other ones I like. Um, so when you talk about the Birkin, oh, naturally that's going to be in the top five. It's not because that's a specific bag, almost like that Bottega Veneta bag. I wouldn't say all Bottega Veneta bags are a must have. They obviously are very nice. Catch that video. It was a few videos back. I think it was called like my most special bag or something. I was kind of revealing it and, um, this is, I'm not trying to show all my, I'm, but I'm saying like, look, this is a nice bag. It's well made. What I, what I recommend this brand 100% because I've seen how nice that one's held up and I think it's beautiful. They're having a moment, but they're classic and they're gorgeous. But again, that's a very specific bag. So do you see where I'm heading with this? I'm not, that's, those are the only two bags that I'm probably going to show you that aren't, I'm not going to go through and just show you all the bags, but I want you to get where I'm going here. Do you see what I'm saying? They're specific. When I'm going to show you guys a bag, it's going to be like all these, you know what I'm saying? Like this one. Let's just go ahead and start. We're going to do the five best first. So the five, um, should we call this underrated? This is a for sure underrated bag. You see people talk about this Hermes Garden Party bag, but you don't, I don't know. I feel like some people look at it as like a boring bag or whatever. Honestly, if I were like, you can, gosh, if they were like the same price, obviously for an investment, I would go for a Birkin because I'm like, this is worth more. But I'm just saying for an everyday, like comfortable bag, if I were going to choose, it's this one all day long. This is the 30. They have the 36. And when I saw the, the price difference isn't that much. And so I was like, okay, well, you know, you just think bigger is better. And when I looked at both of them, it's truly not. You can fit every, it's not like it's too small. Like you can fit everything in this one. To me, I mean, like what else would you put in it? It's not that much bigger. But the vibe of the bag, just as with the Birkin that I just mentioned, the size changes it. I don't know if I would love this bag as much in a larger size, but then I love this bag so much that I could see myself getting that tote in the larger size, but I just love everything about it. I don't want to say it's underrated because if you're a handbag lover, you know about it, but it's not like, I just don't think you see not even that you see this as much, or it's just not like hyped up bag, or it's just nothing super exciting, but it is just the coolest, like, easy bag. It's one of those that you could truly put your stuff in and not change out of it for months, you know what I mean? Because it's just, you could take it anywhere. Like, it's just comfortable, and you wouldn't want to really change it. Okay, the next bag is this one. And I don't want to say, like, oh, this is my number one. This is probably truly, like 
pract from a practicality standpoint. This is the most comfortable straps. It's the nylon um, Prada backpack. These can be a little difficult to find in the black. If you find a black one, scoop it up. They come in so many different like more natural colors I've seen lately. Like there's a gray and there's you know a few others, but I just love everything about it. This nylon is indestructible. I still have Olivia's baby bag that I mean, people spend a lot on baby bags. When I say a lot, like 100 bucks is like a lot to me to spend on a bag I'm never going to use. So I'm glad, God, when I bought that one, I think it was like 700 now, it's probably like over 1,000. I'm glad I have that bag that's like a tote we carried on trips. It's like so nice and it's a bag that I'll always have in my collection that I'll pass it on to her one day, hopefully. But these are just so nice and um, I just really love these Prada nylon bags. That Prada backpack I think is just so cool. Again, Prada bags kind of like have a moment here and there, but they're just classic. You know what I mean? They're just so classic. For the last couple years, those have been really popular. Oh, before we go on, I have this quickly to show you. The shoes came in. These are the Steve Madden ones that I really love that I have in black. They're kind of a copycat of the Chanel, you know, the dad sandals or whatever. These are just so nice. If you have wide feet or like if you have a foot issue or if you have I know it sounds terrible because it's like they're they literally it's like a joke they look like orthopedic shoes but they are so comfortable and bendy bendy these are $34 the nubby ones and I thought those were super cute okay let's get let's go the Chanel flat bags okay I I, I love them you know they so many different sizes I have a few of the jumbos this is like a jumbo the minis and a flat bag I think I couldn't do this video without talking about the flat bag because it is truly one of my favorites. Now, I, I wouldn't just say that if I, maybe I just had the jumbo or something. I like the jumbo. I love it. But I think out of all of them, I've said this so many times, go for a mini. I have three different minis, and I think, you know, for the price, yeah, Chanel bags are expensive. We get it. But I just would rather spit, I'd rather buy a bag that's like a bag rather than there's, there's one that kind of ties into this, but price-wise, there is one that's overrated that kind of ties into that, which we'll talk about in a second. Again, I just want to stick with the ones that I like first. But with a bag, with a flat bag, Chanel flat bags are wonderful. If I just had the jumbo, like, you know, and I didn't have any of my mediums or my minis or anything, I would say jumbo's nice. But, you know, you think about it, I can't carry that jumbo ever. They're big. They're nice, but it's like bigger, again, isn't always better. If you can fit your wallet and your phone, thing. I would rather have this because this is more versatile than the jumbo. I could carry this one everywhere that I would carry the jumbo to, but I can't carry the jumbo everywhere I could carry this one to, like a wedding or anything. I wouldn't want to be flopping around some giant bag. Do you know what I'm saying? So for me, money-wise, like from a from a price standpoint, from just spending your money on something that's nice, like I want some. I go for more versatility than anything, right? I mean, it has to look good. I mean, it's a good bag, but I always think like is this too big? Like like I said, the, the bigger isn't always better. Do you know what I mean? So the minis to me, you just can't go wrong. And if I had to pick a mini, that would be really difficult. You know, if you're going to go for a fun color, again, like I think a mini in a fun color is the way to go. I think that's fun. I have my reissue, which is probably... <laughs> If I had to pick out of all of them, this reissue is probably one of my favorites. I have the best video on this, but Chanel reissues also have like a really special spot. I love those almost even more than the other ones. But I'm just gonna all I'm just gonna say you cannot go wrong with a Chanel mini. They come in so many materials, colors, hardwares. It's such a bag that you can get one that's different you know what I mean if you really want it, or you could get a classic one. But the mini is where it's at. Okay, now I know what you're gonna say. When anyone ever talks about handbags, oh, my favorite ones, my ones that are, I can't live without, or the, my ones that are like my top five or my top bags, whatever, people always say the, the Louis Vuitton never full. And I wouldn't for a lot of reasons. Now, that bag is probably my most, like, loved as far as, like, the bag I've carried the most, that checkered one. I'm not kidding you guys. I mean, I carried it for years on end. Travel, I still carry it. I'm not saying it's a bad bag, but I'm saying... I think there are better things out there, but not even like, to me, I, it's, I don't worry about it, right? I mean, the straps are about to break right off, and in that review video, I explained why Louis Vuitton, like, sent it off, and they wouldn't even touch it, like, they were like, 
they wouldn't even fix it because they thought when they took it off the bag, the bag is so thin, like the canvas, that it was going to ruin the bag. So that's, but mine was, mine was older. Like I've actually had it for a long time and I carried it as it's intended. You know what I mean? So they did, they are going to show wear, but I like that. I like that it's a loved bag. I like that I don't worry about it on an airplane if I just have to stick it under my seat or something, which I probably would worry more about something like this. But now that I think about it, if I were buying a bag for that purpose, right, a bag that I wouldn't worry about on an airplane, a bag that I wouldn't worry about at the beach, which I'll carry that thing to the beach, the sand just rolls right, right off, I wouldn't spend that much on that. I can find so many good bags that are other brands that I'm not saying spend $20, $30, maybe spend 100 bucks, a couple hundred bucks on a bag that is equally, like, good. Do you know what I'm saying? That's not a bag that I'm going to be carrying as a purse because I don't carry that bag as a handbag. I used to, but I would, I would never do It's just huge, right? If you want a tote that's like a designer tote, I think this is the way you should go. I think, and again, I'm not saying this is the tote bag that you get for the airplane or for shoving around or knocking around. I want a tote bag that I can carry like a handbag, and that's what we're talking about, you know what I mean? And yes, the Neverfull falls into that designer handbag category, but I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend spending that much on a bag like that that you're going to use not for an everyday bag because I think spend your money on the things that you're going to use every day. Do you know what I mean? There's plenty of things that will hold up just as well, if not better than that, that are much less expensive. I think they're overrated. Okay. Is that one of my over, that could be one of my overrated ones. Okay. Let's continue. This bag, the Doville, I like because it has the relaxed vibe of a tote bag. Tote bags to me are more relaxed. Like they do have that one that's very boxy and very like, but to me a tote, I want it to look a little more casual and a more casual material. These again, so many colors, materials, styles. The Doville comes in a million different ways, but I really do like this one, but they're all, but they're all made, you know, the same. So I like that it has the straps. I like that they're pretty, you know, so it's like a nice chain, whatever. But then I like that it has the top handle. I used to not like top handles back in the day. Like I would, I would always say, like I'm not into top. I am. I I learned over the years that I really like a top handle bag, but I like in a tote for there to be some versatility. Now this little bag, I don't mind that there's not. A, I never have missed having a shoulder strap because it's so tiny. I wouldn't want to put this on my shoulder. And the vibe of it is just cute with that. I, I just never felt uncomfortable with that. But this one, a larger bag, I do think it is nice to have the shoulder strap. So if you're going to invest in a, or I don't even want to say if you're going to invest in a nicer, more designer, like, tote, get this, that is what I would say. But I guess my point of saying why this is good is because it's just my favorite tote that I've, that I've seen. You know what I mean? It's just, it's got it all. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's just cool. Okay. One more, okay. I don't even think they sell this anymore, but i got to stay true. And it's not even about this exact um, Louis Vuitton backpack. A Louis Vuitton backpack in any style, and I know that they have different ones that they sell. Like this one, I don't, they, like I said, they don't sell, I don't think, as of like, I know a few years ago, they weren't selling this one anymore that's made exactly like this. But they do have the one that looks more classic. Invest, if you want a Louis Vuitton bag, I would say go for a backpack. And this backpack, you guys... Because you will have it forever. You could carry this backpack to the grocery store. You could throw your kids' stuff in it. You could carry it as a single person. You could go wherever you wanted. Trips, whatever. This is like my Disney mom backpack. It's been soaked at parks. It has been rained on. It has been shoved. It is just perfect. There's not even any marks on it. And I think if you ever get a Louis Vuitton in the rain, I hate to say this, but make sure the whole thing gets soaked. Because this one did and you can't see the little marks on it and every time it's gotten rained on since then the little marks don't come out however let me show you what happens this one this is the graceful this one got rained on one time and I don't even think it was like a heavy rain it just in a parking lot I hate to say but that really doesn't even out super well as it patinas and gets darker that just gets darker too like the spots it doesn't blend out it's only going to blend out one day when the whole thing is like dark 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 um so if you ever do get caught in a rainstorm don't try to baby the bag let the whole thing get wet or at least like i don't say rub it in but 
I don't know. This one's just like the magic bag. I love it so much. And um, I think they're made very nicely. I think there's a lot of Louis Vuitton bags that are made pretty sketchily, as with any brand. Um, but I think the backpacks are just so nice. And I like that this one has a bunch of different compartments. But, you know, I'm not going to recommend, oh, get this little this one or this little that one. Or, oh, the Speedy, the Neverfull, which... We've heard that information for years, and that's just so easy to say, but for some, as someone that's had all those bags for years, that all of the Louis Vuitton bags that I have, for, I just value <laughs> this backpack, okay? It's just good. You can carry it anywhere, and it will never... It's just a piece that you will always have. So if you're going to go for a Louis Vuitton bag, backpacks are where it's at. The Palm Springs backpack comes in a larger one. I have the mini, and this is one that I've been carrying a lot, like so versatile, um, you know, sometimes I'll just have it like that, like with the one strap. This strap isn't done right for that. You know, I'll just have the two backpack straps and just throw it over my shoulder. I have been doing it lately. I'll just have the one strap. And I wear it kind of like a crossbody. And I think this is a good bag, okay? It's very versatile, very cute. It's hard to find, so I'm not going to be like, oh, this is one. Again, this falls into the backpack category, but this is kind of like a cute little hand handbaggy backpack that they have. Like I said, they don't have the backpack that I just showed you anymore, but they have this version larger and I'm not saying like it's even about the style it's just a Louis Vuitton backpack I just think you can't go wrong with and the Palm Springs actually has black leather accents so if you are going to worry about it you know if you are going to carry it to more like I said if you're someone that lives right next to Disney or you're someone that goes all the time or theme parks or uh, whatever you think or if you get rained on a lot probably go with the Palm Springs because it does have that black leather um, that's all of my favorites. Let's move on to the overrated ones. This might be easy. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Um, you guys, I've talked about this in so many videos. If I ever talk about Chanel, I do have that video that's recent that's called Chanel 101. And I go through all the Chanel bags and talk about my opinions on all of them, sizes, just different things. So you've heard me say in videos that the boy is not my favorite. It's such a classic bag. It's beautiful. And I'm not saying I don't like this one or that I'll never carry it or that I would get rid of it or that I don't appreciate it or anything. If every That's what's hard. Is that every bag that I have is something that I love. Even if it's something that I think is a bit overrated <laughs> over the years. This is one of the, like, I think it's the original media or it's a very old one. This is like one of the, the really old ones. I think it looks nice, but I just don't love the way they feel. I don't Something about when you open it, I don't like fiddling with this clasp every time. I don't like rubbing against the leather. And I've said it before, but it's just something that gives me chills when I open this. I don't know why. I just feel like it's too thick to be moving around. And the bag just doesn't make me like, I, don't, I love it, but I wouldn't say to, if you're going to spend the money on a Chanel bag by a boy, I would not say that. I would say get any flap bag, any classic flap in any style, just... I would say steer away from the boy. I do think that they were very trendy for a while. As a lot of things are, I'm not saying it's bad to have things that are trendy, but I'm saying I think your money is going to be, or you're going to be happier in the long term with a flat bag. And you know what's funny? I have, when you look at like the flat bags that I have, I have two of the jumbo. This is a jumbo size, but it's a reissue, but I have the beige one too. I have jumbos and minis. I think maybe I would like... A size in between, like a small, medium, or small, or medium. I don't know what that, but maybe, and I have no plans to buy a bag anytime soon, but if I do get another Chanel flat bag, I would say that's probably what I would go for is one in between. So, was that one overrated? Okay, one, okay. Let, okay, I, I mentioned a Speedy. This is one of the ones that has the straps, and then I also have like a 40 that's just like a regular monogram one. It's classic. It's a Louis Vuitton classic bag, but you see this and you think, oh, I could put a strap on it. So versatile. Is it versatile though? It's always going to look like a Speedy. And if you're wearing something nicer, I just don't think, I think this is such a casual bag. But again, like I said, I mean, so this is my backpack. Just know yourself. And know like what you're going to, again, you think, oh, well, I'm more casual, I'm going to, but I just don't think I would spend the money on, I don't know, I, I do think it's such a staple to have in your wardrobe, but my point, and I'm not saying I don't like them, but what I'm saying is, 
don't look at Louis Vuitton bags when you first buy them as, oh, I need to either get a speedy or a Neverfull. Those are the classic ones. I don't think so. I think it's more classic, like I said, and maybe you'll get more use out of it to get like a backpack or something because I just feel like sometimes the speedies, like if I were going to go super casual or I did want to carry it somewhere, like to a it would look too, like, ooh, like too fancy, but then at the same time, it's way too casual. Like I would want to wear it with a dress or something. It just looks out of place. Isn't that strange? I don't know. It's, to me, it's such a classic bag. It's always going to be one that I love. I love the Speedies, but it's just not a bag that I think, I don't know. I think if you have one and that's like, you're, you're going to carry it, but I think there are better things that you could get. And again, I'm just going to say the backpack, like, can you wear a backpack with a dress? No, but I just feel like over time, it's going to be better. Okay. I think there's just better options. Um, and then, of course, like I said, the Neverfull. I love, maybe I'll put the Speedy and the Neverfull in one category. Cause I, I, so this was definitely not what you would think, right? To hear in a video that two of my most overrated bags is a Speedy and a Neverfull. And I know people are like, oh, but they're classic, they're classic. Well, a lot of things are classic. That's why I'm saying it's overrated because I think there's better things that you can get. And again, like I said with this, I carry this thing, I beat the heck out of it, and I love it. And if you want to buy one to do that with, you know you're going to have it for years. It's a designer bag, but it's not one that I'm throwing on carrying it to the grocery store or carrying it everywhere. I could maybe get the size smaller, but then it's like the size smaller than this one is too small for me to carry like on a trip. I did have one of those one time and I liked it. I carried it a little when Livy was um, small and I would you know, try to use it as a diaper bag, but then I would just always go back to my actual diaper bag that was better. But the size was too awkwardly small. It just looked awkward on me. But it was too small to carry, like, on a trip to carry something. I don't know. It was weird. Okay, so I think the only <laughs> never full that's worth it to me is the GM. They're so expensive now. When I got that one, I think it was, like, $720. They've gone up so much. I think they're more than twice that now. Which, yeah, for a nice tote, I mean, for a designer tote, is that that bad? I don't know. It's depending on what you want to spend. I'm not saying it's bad, but I just think there's better things that you could get. Okay, next. <laughs> I love this bag, but I do think it's a bit overrated, the book tote. They're very flashy. You see people carrying them, like, out to dinner on a vacation. Hell no, I would never carry this anywhere. And I have a larger frame. Like, I'm not going to carry this. Like, large bags don't... I guess my point is, like, larger bags don't look weird on me. Do you know what I'm saying? Like... It's not like a weight thing. It's like a tall, wide shoulder. I don't know what it is. Like, everyone's always, like, I even remember, like, when I got my boobs, they were like, I was very skinny then, but they were like, you have a large frame. Do you know what I mean? Or like, I just, I do. You know what I mean? I'm just, whatever. So I can pull off larger bags. I don't, it's not that it looks bad, but it's a big bag that is very utilitarian. I will say that. I love carrying it on trips. I do. But you do have to have a suitcase to sit it on top of. You can't throw it up on your shoulder. You know, it's just too, it's not made to go up on your shoulder. It's scratchy and what stuff's in it. And that's the thing is like the material is so scratchy and hard. It's not like a cozy bag, but that's the point. It's structured. It's a very structured tote. So yes, I will carry this on trips, you know, whatever. But then at the same time, it's like, but then like if I'm on an airplane, what the hell do you do this? You can't stick it under a seat and I'm not going to shove it up in the compartment because everything will dump out of it. So it's just one of those that's off. It's just one of those. It's a good bag, but it is a little, a little awkward. You know what I mean? It can be a little awkward, but I do think it's classic and I'm not saying don't get it, but I do think it's overrated. I don't think they're as versatile <laughs> as maybe some of the, some people would make you believe because again, it's, I'll carry it on a trip, you know, I'll have stuff in it. I tried to carry it to the beach, and it's like, ew, like, I don't get sand in that, whatever. But it's like, what are you really carrying it for? What are we really using this for? It's really hard to do these that are like, oh, I know. Okay. Again, you guys, I love this. I love this bag. I love every bag that I have, so I would not be showing you anything if I didn't love it, but I do think it's overrated. The Chanel wallet on a chain. Over the years of voice, it's a great way to get into Chanel, like, if you want to you know, start your collection. This, I think, was the first or second piece that I bought. It has the chain inside of it. I bought this one fairly recently, and I love these, okay? I'm not saying don't buy them, 
but I'm just thinking, maybe cool it on them because you can get something better. Like, I mean, super cute, right? So cute. Can, like I said, tuck the chain and use it as a clutch. It's truly all you can fit in here. I mean, it's made like a wallet, so you don't, you can put all your cards in there. You can put cash, maybe a lip gloss, and then your phone, and that is it. So there's, like, and you look at the mini and you think it's small. It's actually not. Like, I could fit my full-size wallet in there, my phone, and then a few other things. But this just has no interior space, and that's what it's made for. So they're still expensive. The price difference, yeah, there is a price difference between this and a mini, but when you look at a mini and think, oh, that's like a legit bag, though. It's a legit, you know, flat bag. And this is a wallet on a chain, which is fine, but I would say if you're going to buy one of these, just go for a mini. But again, I see the benefits of this, too. Do you know? Like, I do like this sometimes. Um, so I'm not saying they're even in the same category, but I'm just saying sometimes get this if you need a wallet on a chain or if you're like oh that would actually really come in handy or whatever but you could put your wallet in a Chanel mini too and a phone and more stuff and yes it's more expensive but I do think it's better like from a standpoint of like okay I've spent money on something that is going to be I don't want to say like worth more later but just it's like an actual Chanel flat bag whereas this is a Chanel bag but it's a wallet on a chain I, just, I would say these bum bags, I'm so happy that it's not having a moment anymore, but I love this bag. These bags had a real moment, and they still do, okay, they're still good. I grew up as a child of, like, the mid-80s, or early 90s. I know all about, we called them a belt bag back in the day. I get that's not what they're making them for anymore, but that's what it is, okay? It's like a bum, bum bag, Louis Vuitton calls it a bum bag. But people, like, really went hard for this, where, like, they would wear it like this, above the like just fully like this and it is cute wedge it under your boob get it in your leg look I don't I don't know you guys it just doesn't work on me and I just as like Instagrammy and cool that might look it's just not a it's not a way that I want to wear a bag, okay? And I'm, that's not that doesn't mean it's wrong. I'm not saying that. I just personally maybe I need to like loosen it or wear it like this. Why? It is. I'm not saying it's a terrible look, but I'm just saying it's. Um, I don't think it's what God intended. And I, back in the day, you would wear them like this. Now, hell no, nobody's wearing it like that. I'm not suggesting that, okay? Nobody. I don't want to do that either. Although that's cool and I guarantee you this is going to come back. All these people that bought the belt bags, bum bags, fanny packs, whatever the hell you want to call it, you're not into them anymore maybe um, around your neck or maybe that's just the fat is like oh, I'm not really into that anymore because that is a look, okay? May I bet you people are going to start wearing them like this. Okay, but but here's my point. This is how I wear mine. I just It's the smoothest little bag Wear it like this. Okay, just put it up on your shoulder. I don't wear mine as I did, like, as a child in the 80s, like, here with, like, you know, pants like this, honestly, um, in my fluorescent colors. I'm not wearing it like that. I'm not suggesting that. But I'm saying, like, you know, I like, you know, maybe put it like this. Okay, I don't know. This is just the perfect little, si I think Louis Vuitton does these really well. This one, I don't know if they sell it anymore, but I just, I've loved this one for years. But when I say overrated fanny packs, I think they got a little nuts for a while, and I still see it sometimes. And I'm like, you know what, maybe even just loosen it. Here's what. Loosen it up. Maybe, but I don't want to loosen mine up because I really like where it's hitting me right there. This is like the best way I like to wear mine. But loosen it up maybe where it's hanging a little more. You know what I mean? If you're dying to wear this crossbody, then do that. But that's what's funny to me is that that's not what it is. There's a, it's just, it's me, okay, whatever, okay, whatever, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Obviously I do, because I talk about it every time I can in a video, like, I just, I gripe about this. I don't know why these, this fanny pack situation is so funny to me. You go to a theme park now, or you go to, like, public place or whatever, I don't know what it is lately, but if you are wearing it wrong, and it is wrong, okay, I'm sorry, if you're wearing it like this, or it's up around your neck, or you've got it, like, tied to your ankle, they will make you put it on correctly and they will say you have to wear it like this 
strap it under your boobs. I don't know. At this point, it's just hilarious to me. And I'm not saying it looks bad. I have many friends that do that. And I've worn mine like that, you know, when I've really been trying the hardest um, and doing the most. But I just think, buy, don't fall into that because if you're not going to wear it like that, there's plenty of other bags you can buy. And if this were just like the monogram one, I would have sold it a long time ago. The reason I kept this one is because I just think it looks like a little marshmallow and I love the bag itself. But don't get sucked in to a bum bag or a fanny pack situation because you ain't going to wear it on your bum. You can wear it around your fanny. You're not carrying it like it's... Okay. And you're probably not... I'm, I, I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just saying. I think that's it, you guys. I hope that you get what I'm saying. Um, I hope that that was fun just to kind of see me like... I don't know, maybe help you think about, like, you know, if you did want to invest certain things or you were curious about certain bags or you're a handbag lover like me and you're just wondering about certain ones or just curious about what I like, I think that was kind of interesting. And um, over the years, I have gotten a lot of questions about that. Like, what's your favorites? What do you suggest from this brand? What do you suggest from that brand? And then, you know, you've seen me buy all these bags over the years or you've seen me, you know, be into certain things. And I think that's helpful to see, like, you know, someone's true thoughts on something, not just like, oh, everything's perfect, everything's great. But just kind of like, mm, I would maybe steer away from this, maybe do that instead. So I think that's helpful. Hope that was helpful and entertaining somewhat. But anyways, y'all, thank you for watching. I had so much fun yapping in here with you guys today. And I will see you guys next week for something really fun. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.